Today's video is a beautiful thing, baby. It is the most beautiful format in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh that has ever graced the surface of mankind in history ever. It is called common format, baby. Common charity format. This means that the only cards you're allowed to play are commons. Well, guess what that means? That means nothing changes. Nothing changes. That means in the normal TCG pen best deck and in common format pen best deck, baby. Because Absolute and Vortex are going to carry us to the promised land. So, if you have not yet played common charity, you will come to the right place. If you have played common format, then you're about to witness the best pendulum deck of all time. If you're ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. Let's get to 55,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to go on tripgaming.com. Get yourself the beautiful El Lich playmats, as well as the other playmats that are all over there. And they're absolutely beautiful. Make sure to get them right now, or else you can't watch the rest of the video. Anyways, after you buy your playmat, let us proceed to the most beautiful common format pendulum deck of all time. Let us proceed. But hold up, hold up, hold up. It's not just Pendulum. It's a special edition. The one card that obliterates the entire meta. Luna Light, Tenyi, Goki, every single meta in the game. Phantom Knight. The one card that destroys this entire meta can be played in Pendulums. Pendulum Heroes, baby. Pendulum Dark Law. Let's go. Ending on a board of Vortex, Evil Storm, Nightmare, and Dark Law. This deck is completely unbeatable. Going first and going second is the only deck that can spam six monsters to clear boards. So let's proceed. Time to show you guys the best deck of common format. Let's go. We're going to start this off with a basic combo tutorial, okay? So we are all the pendulums we're playing and all the spells we're playing are cards like Dynamis Charge that search a low scale or a high scale. Sky Iris searches low scale or high scale, also gets level seven. Duelist Alliance, aka Pen Call, searches low scale, high scale. The whole deck is like this. And I'm going to be showing you guys an updated deck. Like I'll show you guys in theory deck list later. Don't worry. This is just so you guys can see the deck list now. But I'll explain later the purpose of ev each and every card. So make sure to actually watch the entire video. Don't just stop it here like an absolute beta. No, be a Chad. Watch the whole video. Watch and understand the purpose of all these cards. Why are we playing heroes? Why are we playing two dynamis? Why are we playing uh, like all three pen sorcerers? There's a reason to the madness. Just watch and I'll explain. All right, so... First things first, this is a very complicated deck. I do not recommend this deck if you are not of the mega chad, mega brainness, uh, such as every pendulum blues on the planet. It is very difficult to play this deck. Very, very difficult. So, Dynamis Charge is going to search us as Dynamist. We're going to go Dark Worm. Now, at this point, I recognize that I want to make a Link 2 because we have an extender. I go up Dark search Dark Worm. I normal Stratos to get Shadow Mist. So, there's two ways to play Stratos. There are three ways to utilize Stratos in this deck. And I'm going to explain the synergy right now. So, if you normal Stratos, you could Pendulum Summon Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effect would trigger to then search for the uh, Quick Play spell Mass Change to make Dark Law on the opponent's turn. On top of that, if you're playing a deck that absolutely loses the Evil Storm Nightmare, it's another level 4 Dark. On top of that, you can go str Stratos, search Stratos. Pendulum Stratos. That Stratos, search a third Stratos. And then the effect of Stratos also, against Trap decks... You could normal Stratos, Pendulum the second Stratos, Stratos effect, pop one back row. If you draw two hero cards, you could pop two back row. This is very important and it's free. It forces interruptions like Fog Blade or whatever it may be. And you guys are going to witness because I'm going to duel Jesse Cotton later in this video where you guys can actually see how the Stratos comes up and how insane it is. So, for this specific combo, I see that this is Vortex, Dark Lot, Evil Storm Nightmare. So, I'm going to set this up to do so. Uh, I don't search Dragon Pulse. I want to. I'm going to search Dragon Pit here because I could, I'm going to set up the combo that I just told you guys. I'm going to search for Odd Eyes. I'm going to scale this. And I'm going to Pendulum Summon my whole hand and summon out Dragon Pulse with Harmonizing. I decided instead of Evil Storm Nightmare, I'm going to actually do something better, uh, much better, to ensure Dark Law survives. Dark Law, if it survives, treat it like your big floodgate. Protect it with Vortex. Protect it with something else. I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to protect it now. I'm going to activate Proxy Magician to. Uh, normally summon Vortex Dragon like legally via an Odd Eyes monster and a Pendulum. And then after that, I'm going to make Void Ogre and set one. The beauty of Void Ogre is that it protects the, the Dark Law. So we could have made Evil Storm Nightmare if we really wanted to. If we tried hard enough, we could have saved the normal summon for later and done it. But uh, this is just much better. This is far better because now on the opponent's turn, we have Void Ogre, Dark Law, and Vortex Dragon. Three big monsters that just so happen to be common that absolutely obliterate the opponent. 
And the beauty of this as well is that you have full scale set up for next turn. They cannot pop Stegosaur because of charge. You have both low scale and high scale in your deck for Sky Iris to search. And on top of that, if you use Void Ogre first, so let's say you negate a car spell trap first with Void Ogre, and then, like let's say they go Book of Moon or like whatever, spell activate any spell in Yu-Gi-Oh desires. Negate first with Void Ogre and then trigger Dark Claw after the spell is negated. That way, Shadow Mist can trigger to also get a Stratos. And then no normal Stratos, search another Stratos, free rank 4, and pop 1. But in this scenario, what deck in the in common format is playing through? Void Ogre, Dark Law, Vortex, literally no deck is playing through this. And then if we're facing a deck that puts up a bunch of Towers type of cards, our extra deck deals with it very, very easily. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck list in depth. So this is the deck list in depth, okay? Look closely. It's 45 cards because you're playing so many cards that do the same thing. That search themselves, low scale or high scale. We play double Joker, triple Sork. Sork is so insane in this, okay? Let's say you don't open Joker and pen Sork. Okay, sure. Save your normal summon. Normal summon perform pal Odd Eyes Unicorn. It's a perform pal that's searchable by pen Sork. And it's a scale 8 that for Sky Ir your three Sky Irises. Then normal summon this instead of normal summoning Joker. And then you could go Proxy F Magician to fusion summon both of them into Vortex Dragon. If you start with Proxy F Magician. Many cool ways to do that. So, next we also play Triple Abductor. We play Double Dark Worm. Uh, double Dark Worm just helps us get more extenders. But not just extenders. We don't care for the extenders. We don't care for the extenders. In fact, a lot of the times the same board is made with 5 monsters in the field. 5 monsters on the field gets the job done. Uh, but also we play it because it's a level 4 dark for Evil Storm Nightmare, which is the best rank 4 in in common format. Uh, we don't play the level 3. You don't need it in this version of the deck. Pulse, Pit, Janky, Chronograph, honestly, there's just not enough space. Uh, there's really not enough space. The, the deck is actually so damn good and tight that we don't need anything else. Uh, it does break sometimes. It really does. I'm telling you guys. Double Dynamis, one low scale, one high scale. That way, Dynamis Charge searches a low scale or high scale, and they can keep getting value of Dynamis Charge. Dynamis Charge's Pensork is so broken, it's insane. Especially in common format. Because Pensork could keep triggering every single turn, popping the scale, but the scale will keep getting itself back from Dynamis Charge. So you get never ending free Pensork effects. Very incredible synergy. Uh, play three different level sevens like this to make sure you get Vortex off. Vortex can be done with these, Persona, and Odyssey Unicorn because of Proxy F. But because you have three level sevens, it's actually really easy. You play only one Shadow Mist because Stratos searches the Shadow Mist. The idea is normal Stratos, pen Shadow Mist. If you were to hard draw Joker and Stratos, aim to normal summon Joker. Unless you're going first and want to put a massive board and you want to ensure Dark Cloud, it's fine. But you could Pendulum Stratos and still get its effect for a follow-up of next turn of Stratos. It's free pluses. And because you have E-Call to get Stratos and Rota, it's insane. One upstart, one foolish, one shrine. Foolish can also work for Shadow Mist, Shrine for the Dark Worm, three uh, Sky Iris, six Pen Call, and Triple Dynamis Charge. Nine Kaijus because Kaijus actually synergize very well in this deck. Vortex can bounce back the Kaiju to your hand, which can come up. Triple Denko, Triple Hey True Nade. This is the extra deck. Pro one Proxy F and one Boral Load. Now we play two Code Breaker Link Twos specifically for a reason. It's actually very powerful. You could do with this. You basically take any four monsters you have. And turn them into Goki, the Power Load Ogre. Which in this format is insane. It truly is insane. Especially if you let it stay for one turn. And then on your up, on your turn, you pen three under its zones. And then you just use it to destroy all your opponent's field. Uh, then we play two Synchros. Void Ogre for going first. Beals for going second with Harmonizing. Then we play Redoer for facing a Trap deck to go into this first. Then Light Dragon, Adding or Tornado, Evil from Nightmare. We play one Dark Rebellion to destroy monsters. Absolute Vortex Dark Claw. Absolutely insane. Very high win rate. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick duel. So in this quick duel, I'm going to be doing this one single game against Jesse. And I lose the dice roll. I talked to Jesse about the idea of playing uh, Dark Law in common format because it's so broken. And as you see, Mass Stage 2. This th card is absolutely like auto win in this format. It really is. It truly is. Because decks in this format, all the top most played decks, hard lose to one Dark Law if they don't have an answer to the Dark Law. Like, if they don't draw a Kaiju. And if they don't draw a Kaiju, they auto, 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 auto lose. That's all. It's also nice that his deck can set up a Fog Blade. And he has a very nice follow-up. If I do not clear these Leviers through the Dark Law and Fog Blade, I'm cooked. Because the Leviers are going to summon everything back with Mathematician follow-up. But it's all good. We're going to easily clear through this Dark Law. Think of, think of if I'm playing Luna Light. Luna Light hard loses instantly. Luna Light is clicking the Scoop button. Tenny is clicking the Scoop button. There is no play whatsoever against any of these meta decks. Golki, Scoop, 
All these that Phantom Knight mirror match scoop. The duel is over. But it's okay because we're not playing those decks. We're playing the best deck, which is Pendulum. So here we're just going to set up our hand to build a Pendulum 5. We're going to play around the Fog Blade. And then we're going to stop the uh, Dark Law and still bring out a Vortex Dragon to stop him on his turn. So here, I don't, sadly, I don't draw the heroes. Otherwise, it would have been insane. Fog Blade's the harmonizing, triggering the Sork. Your normal Joker, get Sork for next turn. Then we go Absolute. And then I'm going to go at Ignister. Add Ignister to pop the Dark Law. Get the Dark Law out of my face. Link these two into Proxy F, Magician. Bringing out Vortex Dragon. Vortex Dragon effect triggers to bounce. And to battle, attack. This is a solid setup that we have. I probably should have gone into Codebreaker instead of Proxy F Magician because it's a higher attack and I didn't need Proxy F's effect. And then at this point, uh, we're going to pass to him. He's going to have to deal with the Vortex and add Ignister stopping from effects. So he's going to have his work cut out for him. I was debating stopping the Mathematician, but I did not. He goes straight into uh, Goki, the Power Load Ogre, and we're super cooked because he gets rid of that, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Here we're just going to draw. He, he gets Fog Blade. He, it looks like he's set up great, right? We'll look at our top deck. We drew Stratos. This card is so broken, it's wild. Normal Stratos, if he Fog Blades, we just link everything into Borolode, and then we just win. So he's, he can't do that. Then we just scale Pensork and Pendulum Stratos, using Stratos' effect to pop the Fog Blade, forcing the Fog Blade to resolve instantly. I could have also used Stratos to search another Stratos, then Tornado Dragon and pop the Fog Blade, and then Borolode, but I like this more to put him on one turn clock. I go Borolo to destroy his card, attack with adding Nister. Now he can't find a way to destroy my Borolo with an effect. And just like that, he has no play, and we've overcome it simply because we played Stratos in our deck. And that's it for the video. The best way how to play Common Charity Pendulums is right here. Literally, absolutely insane. And I have no doubt in my mind that this is the best deck in Common Charity. It already topped the Common Charity event, top four, I believe, or, or third. I spoke with him about the deck. And we both have similar beliefs with parts of the deck. And we both believe this is just the best deck in common charity. Especially if you do it correctly. I highly, highly advise play heroes in it. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to check the beautiful play mats on www.trevgaming.com. Most beautiful mats in the game, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next video. Peace!